Now we are going towards the another topic that is concept of biodiversity. So what is biodiversity? So simply when we say bio and diversity. Bio means living beings. They can be plants, animals or any other microbes. And diversity means the this is the simple uh, words meaning eh? bio and diversity. But uh, let's go to the definitions biodiversity is number and variety of plants animals and other organisms that exist per square unit of area of any place so in any place per square unit place uh, how many varieties of plants animals uh, and other organisms are there so that is called biodiversity the variety of plants animals not only variety number number and variety of plants animals and other organisms that exist in one square unit area that is called biodiversity let's go to next definition biodiversity is the diversity within species between species and of ecosystem you have to remember three main things here biodiversity is the diversity within the species there are different species, human species, animal species, plant species. So there is diversity within the species as well, within their own species. Between the species, between two species there is difference. And of ecosystem, diversity of ecosystem means there is diversity in ecosystem as well. So these three types of diversity is included under biodiversity. And next is biodiversity refers to the variability among living organisms. Variability, different varieties of living organisms from all sources including terrestrial, marine and other aquatic ecosystem. Terrestrial, marine, terrestrial means land. Marine means uh, ocean and aquatic ecosystem and the ecological complexes of which they are a part. This is also very important definition. Next, the richness of biodiversity depends upon climatic condition and geography of region. So, uh, how rich um, the place is on biodiversity depends upon climatic condition and geography. What type of climate is there? And what type of geographical structure does the region or does the place have? According to that, there will be uh, richness of biodiversity. It means uh, the plants and animals or other biological components present in Himalayan region can be different from hilly region and Torai region. So why is it? This is one because of climatic condition. Himalayan region has got extreme cold climate, whereas uh, Torai region has got hot climate. So because of this um, difference of climatic condition, there can be different varieties of plants and animals and other biological uh, components. Similarly, geography, according to geographical structure, land structure also, there can be difference in biodiversity. Himalayan region has got rocky uh, land and steep land, whereas Torai region has got very plain land because of which the plants, animals and other biological components found in that region can be different. So I think you are clear about biodiversity. So you can focus on the first and second definition. Uh, you can also remember third definition, but if you feel it difficult, you just remember first and second one. Now let's go to the different classification of biodiversity. How can biodiversity be classified? According to this previous definition, the second definition, we can classify biodiversity in three types. We, can, we have said biodiversity is the diversity within the species between the species and biodiversity of ecosystem according to this we have three types first one is species diversity second one is genetic diversity and third one is ecosystem diversity this species diversity is the diversity between the species here you can see between the species 
the diversity difference in variety between the species one species and another species genetic diversity is the diversity within the same species within the same species and ecosystem diversity is the diversity of ecosystem diversity of ecosystem okay please be careful so now what are the three varieties of biodiversity we are going in detail uh, species diversity means the frequency and variability among the living organisms by species frequency how many frequency means how many and how many varieties variability means how many varieties of living organisms are there by species the frequency and variability among the living organisms by species variation by species variation according to the variety of species how many frequency and how many variability are there that is species variety in a geographical area is called species diversity for example leopard tiger parrot sparrow rhododendron lotus it is they are different different species okay so there is variation in leopard and tiger there is variation in parrot and sparrow there is variation in leopard and rhododendron so this is called species diversity so once again the frequency and variability among the living organisms by species variation so they, they, this this uh, leopard tiger parrot sparrow rhododendron these all are different species of animals and plants now genetic diversity means the genetic variation genetic variation variation in the genes genetic variation among the population of a single species and between the different species is called genetic diversity sometimes within a same species also there can be difference difference for example the puppies of different colors puppies means they are in dog species so inside dog species also there can be different colors of dogs and snow leopards and clouded leopards are also different they are from same leopard species but there uh, there is difference in their species there is difference in their color there is difference in their characters so next very best ex example is human species we all are human species but every human being is different from each other maybe their color skin color their uh, length of nose uh, their body structure can be different now ecosystem diversity is there the frequency and variety of distinct ecosystem in a given area is called ecosystem diversity in a distinct given area in a given area in a specific area there can be different varieties and frequency of ecosystem different types of ecosystem that is ecosystem diversity for example cropland ecosystem uh, forest ecosystem so these are different types of ecosystem diversity cropland ecosystem is different from forest land forest ecosystem there can be marine ecosystem means ocean ecosystem there can be desert ecosystem there can be river ecosystem mountain ecosystem so in nepal we have got every type of ecosystem except two they are marine ecosystem it means ocean ecosystem and desert ecosystem we don't have these two types of ecosystem other all ecosystems we have this is very important question in exam in one mark this question is frequently asked which ecosystems are not found in nepal so please be careful about this question